So this time we're simply going to look at how we can get some data into PySpark and manipulate the RDDs. Very simple, in this section we're going to look at how we can load data, parallelize the data, and operate basically on RDDs. In this section we're going to look at loading data onto Spark RDDs. We look at what is a UCI machine learning data repository, we look at how we can get data from that repository, and how we can get that data into Spark. Let's go in and take a look. Firstly, let's look at the UCI machine learning repository. If we simply navigate to archive.ics.uci.eu slash ml, we can arrive in the UCI machine learning repository. The other thing you can do to get here is to use your favorite search engine to find simply by typing in the search term UCI machine learning. So what is the UCI machine learning repository? So UCI stands for UC University of California, Irvine machine learning repository. And it's one of the very useful resources for us to get open source and free data sets for machine learning. Although PySpark's main issue or main solution isn't about machine learning, we can use this as a chance to get big data sets that help us test out the functions of PySpark. So how do we get to the data set that we're going to download and put into PySpark today? Today we're going to look at KDD Cup 1999 data sets, and we're going to load the whole data sets into PySpark. Let's see how this is done. After a simple search, we get to the KDD Cup 1999 data data sets. The next thing we need to click is the data folder button. It's located here. We're then redirected to a folder that has various files. You can see that there's a KDD cup data.gzip and there's 10% of that data also available. Today we're going to work with the full data sets. To work with the full data sets, what we're going to do is to right click on the ddcup.data.gz go to copy link location and now what I'm going to do is go back into my PySpark console and import the data there let's take a look at how this works so I've launched PySpark and the first thing to do is to import URL lib, which is a library that allows us to interact with resources in the internet. The next thing to do is to use this request library to pull some resources from the internet. So this is going to take some time. So the file has da finished downloading and we can see that in Python is returned and the console is back active. Next thing to do is to load this using the Spark context. So Spark context is materialized or objectified in Python as the variable SC. If we key in SC, we can see that Python is returning the Spark context. So all is good. The next thing to do is to load the KDD cup data into PySpark using SC. So what we do is this. It's giving us a warning. But that's fine because it's not an error of any sorts. And we can see that the raw data is now in the raw data variable. As you can see, a few bits of information pops up if we key in the raw data variable. It tells us that there is the kddcup.data.gz. That's where raw data's underlying data file is located. It tells us about map partitions, RDD.